Okay, Resetters, Dr. Mindy here, and holy cow, I have to tell you that tomorrow is the day you all get Fast Like a Girl in your hands. So I got to share a lot of thoughts that I'm having right now. And, you know, one of the things that I have really committed to doing for myself and for all of you is always showing up authentically. I believe we live in this world where it's easy to put on a highlight reel to the world and just show all the good things going on in your life. And yet that sets up people for disappointment because everybody's trying to go for the highlight reel. So, and compare their lives to other people's highlight reels. So I'm going to give you a little backstory about everything that went through me to put this book out and why I'm so excited to get it into your hands and what I'm hoping it will do in the world. First, this book was written because you all asked me to write it. I, I, I mean, the journey for me with fasting and hormones, once I found fasting, like many of you, I fell in love with it. And I was in my early 40s when I fell in love with it. And I just started fasting more and more and more. And what ended up happening was I not only had great mental clarity, not only had insane energy, but I started to lose my cycle. And I was in my early to mid forties. And so one day I was not only wondering where my, what was going on with my cycle, but I started to get a lot of anxiety. And so I went to and got a Dutch test. And when I looked at my Dutch test, my hormones were completely tanked. They were the hormonal level the, of a postmenopausal woman, but I still had a cycle. I was in my mid early and mid forties, which is not when you're supposed to go into menopause. So I made some course corrections to my own health. And then, and those were the, the, the concepts that I teach in fast, like a girl. And then what I did is I went to YouTube and I taught all the women on my YouTube channel, how to make these modifications to their fasting lifestyle. And I made the modifications in my clinic to my patients. And I started to see that there was a very clear way that women needed to fast and that it needed to be different than men. And we have to keep in mind that men have one hormone that they're prim primarily driven by, and that is testosterone. And testosterone loves fasting. Women, we have three hormones. We have estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone. Testosterone and estrogen love fasting. Progesterone is the exact opposite, doesn't love fasting. So when I started to work out this, this formula for myself and teach it to the world, I saw very clearly that women needed to fast differently. And there was a very specific way. And at the time, as I was gathering all this information and um, sharing it with the world, a lot of fasting books came out. It, uh, you know, Jason Fung has a great one. Uh, Will Cole put out a great one, uh, book. And uh, Dave Asprey put out a great book. But none of them gave women the formula, taught women how to fast. They said women in, in Will's book and Dave's book, they talked about how women should fast differently, but they didn't say how to fast differently. And around you know that time, we also were getting a lot of press coming from um, different health influencers preaching that women shouldn't fast at all. And so when I looked at the needs of women to master fasting, I knew I had to put my formula into a book. So Fast Like a Girl is the formula that women need to know. It has six different length fasts. It has two eating styles. It shows you how to time it to your menstrual cycle. I created, for those of you that have an active cycle, I created two paths for you. Um, one is called the fasting cycle, which is a way, a way that you can customize the different length fasts and food choices based off of where you are on your cycle. So it's you choose your fasting length based off of what the right hormonal needs are for you. And then I put together a 30 day fasting reset that you can follow if you have a cycle or if you're postmenopausal, I put in there, you can go ahead and do the 30 day reset and it'll give you all your hormonal needs. You just aren't timing it to a cycle. So there's a whole third section with application 
of the formula for wherever your hormonal, whatever your hormonal situation is. So the first section, I might be the most proud because the editor that I worked with on this book, her name is Kathy Huck, and I, I, I'm so grateful to her because she was an editor slash writing coach and really pushed me hard on that first section to nail that first section, which is the science of fasting and to bring you the best science with the clearest explanation of that science to explain hormones to you. There's a whole chapter on hormones to explain why you need to metabolically sh shift and flex in and out. She really uh, pushed me to make those chapters as clear uh, as possible. I literally, when you read the book, I, each one of those chapters I rewrote four times. So to the point I was writing it about around Christmas time, December, 2021. And um, there were days I was almost in tears be, because she was so good at making sure that I put words together that you will benefit from. She is the editor for many New York Times bestselling books, um, one of which was Dr. Oz's book, um, The Answer Is You. And so I knew she was an expert. And so I dug deep on those early chapters for you to make sure that they really hit home. So I can't wait for you to get those first, get the whole book, but those, that first section is profound. I don't think any book has put the science together on fasting in this way before. And I actually think that those first chapters are for men as well. Um, I've had a lot of men ask me, why didn't, where do they fit in the journey here? Why did I write a book for women only? And, you know, I wrote Fast Like a Girl because we didn't have this kind of book for women. So um, when I did the audio book, the sound engineers were so geeked out by that first section, they were fired up to fast. So I, I, I Fast Like a Girl is a book that men can benefit from, especially in that first section. Um, that talks about the science. And then the last thing I want to tell you is all the amazing people that showed up along the journey of writing this book. Um, I, I want to say that perhaps the most profound uh, journey that I had with this information was um, working with Leanne Rimes, the Grammy Award winning singer and songwriter. Um, she came into my life as I was writing the book. Um, in November of 2021. And all the principles that I teach in the book, I was walking through with her. And um, she wrote the foreword. She, you can hear it from her words, um, what it was like to take the information in. But what was so interesting on that level was it was really fun to see how the principles worked for her on a day-to-day -day basis. We literally, and, and, and we did a podcast interview on um, the Resetter podcast. Go and listen to that because uh, Leanne goes through her whole health history. So we spent, you know, about the first six months working together, looking at her hormones from a day-to-day -day perspective and applying the principles of Fast Like a Girl to her hormones and watching how they worked. And it'll blow your mind when you listen to the Resetter podcast, when you hear uh, or, or read her forward. She is a living example of how you can turn your hormonal health around, no matter how much toxicity, physical, emotional, chemical toxicity you have in your body. Fasting is the tool for women to turn their hormonal health around. And Leanne has been vocal about her experience with the information. Like I said, she wrote the foreword and um, is and we have an incredible podcast we did together. So it was such a joy to be on that journey with her. Um, and, you know, I think so many of you will see yourself in her story, even though her story was was so surreal. So Fast Like a Girl, it comes out tomorrow. I want to tell you uh, one last thing. So every time I put a book out into the world, there is a lot of self-doubt that comes out. You know, there's, I, I, I put this out there for you, but there is a lot of fear and a lot of vulnerability, you know, of all the things I put out into the world. Writing a book is, is a really intimate experience. 
um, go, go read my acknowledgements because when I wrote my acknowledgements, I really talk about what the process of writing a book is like and all the people that came in to play to help. Um, but I call it naked pictures day. It's like, putting naked pictures of yourself out all over the world. Um, that's how vulnerable putting a book out there feels. So please go order it. It really would mean the world to me. I, this to me is a coming out party for women to understand not only how to look at their hormones from a lifestyle perspective, but for us to take our power back and start to do health our way. Um, but it also is you know, a very vulnerable experience for me. So if you resonate with it, please go leave a review that that would mean the world to me. And know that from the bottom of my heart, this is my gift to you. And I hope I hope it ignites one hell of a fire in every woman's heart to take back control of their health. As always, so grateful to be on this journey with you.